Now, when we talk about pistols and self-defense, we often hear or refer to the term called stopping power. Now, there's a lot of debate and research out there on just that topic. This review is not about debating that term or even getting into the different definitions of stopping power. Now, with that said, few, if anyone, argues the punch you know, or stopping power to the 45 ACP. And that has long been known for stopping power, right? What about the 10 millimeter? Now, the 10 millimeter was introduced around 1983, mostly to address the lack of stopping power in the 9 millimeter. Now, the FBI actually used it for a short period of time before introduction of the smaller version of the 10 millimeter, the 40 Smith & Wesson. Now, the main reason for lack of interest from military and law enforcement for the 10 millimeter is the recoil and the average shooter's challenge, you know, with that and in accuracy. Now, with that said, I don't notice much of a difference when shooting the 10 millimeter versus the 40 Smith & Wesson. Now, when you look at stopping power, it is the king in the semi-auto platform, in my opinion, when looking at ballistics. It is equal to or exceeding the 357 Magnum, and you get 16 rounds capacity. That's right, 16 rounds. Now, let's just see what we can do with the Springfield XDM Elite OSP. We've got uh, the Hex Dragonfly on here. Let's see how far we can go with it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there we got it. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, so far, all the folks that talk about wanting stopping power, um, if you have not considered the 10 millimeter, you should. Specifically, I think, the XDM. Now, I have honestly never really looked at it, and I thought it was basically another version of the 45 ACP, but just really expensive ammo compared to the 45. It wasn't until a friend of mine got his Springfield XDM that I really took a look at it. Now, once I started looking at the ballistics, I couldn't have been more wrong. This is no 45 ACP. This is more like having a 357 mag with a high capacity semi-auto platform. Now, seriously, imagine a 357 mag with 16 rounds as fast as you can pull the trigger. Now, take a quick look at the specs and tech of the XDM before we go any further. Okay, real quick here, I just kind of put together some, some ballistic data for you on the ammo that I use. And, and this is fairly consistent across the board with 10 millimeter hollow point self-defense rounds. The, the Federal Punch, you know, the 200 grain, as the name says, you know, we've got some really good energy, some foot pounds of energy here, far exceeding uh, nine millimeter. What's interesting is, is when we move to the HST, we've get actually just a little bit more energy, but not much. They're both out of a five inch barrel. You have outstanding mushrooming, um, everything that we're looking for in a hollow point. Now, a lot of people are choosing the 10 millimeter because they're wanting punch. And what's interesting is nobody questions the, the punch or the stopping power of, of a 357 Magnum. And when we move to that and you actually look at most of the 357 mag, um, ballistics out there most of the muzzle energy um, is around 530 or so 
Uh, here is one though um, with the, the HST you actually have 614 uh, which is on the higher end for the 3, 357 mag. I looked at quite a few and there was very few that were actually in the 600 but then when we go to the 10 millimeter Fusion, we have 639. Now I have used Fusion a lot for hunting and actually it is one of my preferred self-defense rounds because it's a bonded hollow point and it actually makes sense if we're going to use it for taking large game. It should be pretty adequate for for self-defense. Anyway, there's just kind of a, a visual for the stopping power or punch of the 10 millimeter. Exactly. It's an XDM with stopping power. Now, I'm doing another review. Why the 10 millimeter? And I'm going to go deeper into the ballistics, compare it to other calibers like the 45 ACP, 44 mag, 357 mag, controllability and recoil management. Watch for that. Okay, so let's just see what we can do with this. Is it a beast? How far can I go out with it? How fast can I get rounds on target? Let's get her done. Okay, sighting in here at 50 yards. Let's just go take a quick look here at the groups. Okay, getting it sighted in and breaking in the barrel. You know, we started off down here and then kind of moved up here. Um, and again, breaking in the barrel, getting it seasoned. And that is the last three volley that I shot really happy with this i'm going to keep seasoning the barrel but going to start uh, playing on some steel here and then once it's really good and broke in we'll come back and see what we can get for a, a total group okay so i was sighting in a 5.7 by 28 and i thought you know i just want to i want to see where my 10 millimeter is at and that's the four shot group i just got at 50 yards um yeah I want to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to season the barrel. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's just take a quick look here at what I'm getting for the sight picture. I just got some really impressive groups. Um, put up two more targets. Let's see what we can do. So I'm in the process of breaking in the barrel, getting, getting the optic sighted in i started off with the punch um showed you those groups pretty nice made some adjustments went down did another polish the barrel i put in some of this you gotta check out the group i just got here from 50 yards there you go four shots right there that was the last group um, I was up here. I had the four shots. Okay. Then it came down. I don't know if I was flinching or what, but I was kind of all over the place. Took the barrel out and cleaned it. And I just got those four shots. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see what we can get here at 50 yards standing <laughs> instead of benching it. Um, I would love to be able to get that group standing. I don't think so. So let's see how we can do here on the steel at 50 Get really focused because it does have some recoil, guys. It's not like shooting the nine. It's got some punch. And then it's a mental thing. <laughs> You're wanting to push down. Okay, I got four left out of the box. Let's see if we can get all four on target. Yeah, okay. Just takes, takes some focus and you got to put all your mind into don't flinch. Hey guys, now before I forget, special thanks to Federal for providing the ammo for this. Um, we've got the HST and we've got the punch. And actually when I was working on the target at 50 yards, I was getting pretty much almost the exact same group with these. Anyway, let's see what we can do 
at 100 yards here benching it. Now remember guys, when you're benching it, um, you're going to get a lot more recoil. So it's, it's going to jump up um, more so than holding it, but I just want to see what I can do here. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. And check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food. And it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. So that was easy benching it. <laughs> I think I had one miss, but I was flinching even with a bench. Um, now let's see what I can do standing. Okay, so shooting something that's got some recoil, you know, it reminds me a lot of martial arts, a book that I read, The Unfettered Mind. Basically, you're not supposed to put your mind anywhere. I'm not trying to put my mind into the recoil. I actually want to just kind of let my mind go. One of the ways that I have found uh, with shooting that works for me a lot of times is to shoot a little quicker. Don't give my mind time to think and get into the recoil and push down get it where i want it and then pull the trigger anyway let's give that a try well it was good in theory okay let's go the opposite way let's try slowing it down and really focus in on not pushing down. <laughs> and I got in my head and I'm thinking on that last one don't miss the last one get a perfect four the mind is our worst enemy okay let's reach over there across the pond at 200 uh, yeah there we got it I knew it. I am. The wind's catching it. I'm having to aim left to the target. Um, 
Okay, we're going to give it a go at 200. That's really going to test um, the the mind in not pushing uh, because any little any little flinch or anything at 200, and we're never going to hit that steel. We got it. I got it once. Okay, let's just see how fast I can get them on here at 200 and actually hit the steel. Nice. I wish I could do that standing. Okay, so we tested it at the distance. Now we got to test, you know, practicality up close. One of the things that I have heard, you know, is a 10 millimeter is something that folks might consider taking into like bear country versus, you know, taking a 357 revolver because you've got a whole lot more firepower here. And when we looked at the ballistics, uh, we actually exceed 357 Magnum. Uh, we're not up there with a 44 mag, but hey, you know, we've got a lot of firepower. So let's see what we can do here at, at a short distance. This would be a lot closer than I'd want to be to a bear or anything else that was coming at me. But let's, let's see what we can do for how fast I can get these off and on target. That would work. Okay, so very large animal coming at me. I want to see if I can get them off on target just a little bit faster. I'd say that works. Okay, so now I want to see how well we can transition. Uh, it'd be kind of silly to say we're going to have multiple large animals, multiple bear coming at us. Uh, let's just say things that we want to stop. Thus, we have a 10 millimeter. How fast can we transition? Uh, we'll start down there at 25 and then kind of work our way across. I'd say that worked. Okay, just about out of ammo here. Let's see. Uh, let's try it again. You know, Let's see if we can do this one-handed. I wish I had some more ammo. There you go, guys. Springfield's XDM 10 millimeter, the OPS, taking it the distance. Hey, one last time, I want to say special thanks to Federal for supplying this ammo. We had outstanding accuracy and reliability with both of these. Um, I would highly recommend or consider either one for self-defense round. Okay, so actually, I did get some more ammo. CCI Blazer sent me some ammo. I uh, heard I was working on this review. So anyway, let's have some fun here. Let's... Uh, we got the 180 grain full metal jacket. Let's see. Let's see where we're at down here on the on the steel. <laughs> now one of the things that I had read, why the FBI, the 10 mil, it does have a fat grip, and I got small hands. So, you know, watching the video, if you're watching and you see me readjusting my hands a lot, yeah, 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 kids, save the comments. Um, my small hands, it does make this a little challenging to hold. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's do another one. Um, you know, in fact, I want to try. Let's try one-handed.
<laughs> oh, the cold helps get the mind focus. Okay, special thanks, CCI. Um, I thought I was done with the review because I ran out of ammo. This is awesome. Um, anyway, uh, I'm feeling a little cocky now after that. Uh, let's get, let's give it a go here. <laughs> that was not bad. Here you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that sub button, guys. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're out on the range getting trigger time, you, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. We're representing everybody. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.